Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with me, Rock Paper Mario. In the last part we did, we jumped off the pier into the ocean, and in this part we're going to sail in a very special direction. Because we are going to sail... Did let me tell you where we're going to sail. We're going to sail west, where the Hyoshi lives! Even though he doesn't live in the west, he lives in Kerry, which is in the southwest. So he shouldn't be the judge for the west on the All Ireland Talent Show. That's just wrong. He should be the judge for, like, I don't know, they should have just picked someone that's actually from the west to be the judge for the west. But anyway, where we're going is wished. Um, to this island, well, I might as well show you, to Spectacle Island, because there's a fun game we can play there that I want to play because it's fun! So, um... So let me know if are are you guys enjoying this LP? Cause I am. I find it really fun, and I find it really easy to like commentate when I'm doing this LP. Just because it's such a fun game to play, it really is. Look, I'm just jumping because it's so fun. Um, it is just such a fun game to play. I don't know why it's so fun, but it is. It's just I don't know why. It, it's definitely one of my favorite Zelda games, just because it's so fun. Like, I love this Zelda game because it's so fun to play, and I love Majora's Mask just because it is the most... I, I don't care. Majora's Mask is the most emotionally charged Zelda game there is. Like, some of the side quests and missions in that are just... I don't know, they're really... They're really, really tough going on, on the psyche, like, I don't know. They're just really tough on you, like... They're so... I just don't know. Okay, this we're coming up to Spectacle Island. Um, and there's a game we can play, and we get to see our old friend! Well, a old friend from one of like the coolest episodes ever that like pissed so many people off to see me do so well in that game. Okay, I have a feeling that there's something else here, isn't there? Is there? Isn't there like... Oh, well, there's a sign. I thought there was something else up on this island as well. I had a weird feeling that there was something on this island, and now there isn't. But, oh well. Let's go up here and see your old friend. And it is... <gasps> it's Squidward! What? You're Squidward? The guy in Winfrey Island? Squidward? Are there any more Squidwards I should know about? Meow. That's it! I wouldn't sell a house to you if you were the last Squidward on Earth! Uh... Oh, never mind. My mistake. Yeah, yeah, step right up. If you have confidence in your target shooting, won't you give this a shot? Okay, I'm, I, I actually can't remember how many times you're supposed to play this game. I think it might be three. So I'm just going to check really quickly in my, like, in, in my list how many you're supposed to play. Okay, you're supposed to play it twice. It's 50, but it is really expensive, so... But luckily this game isn't too hard. Oh, look, he has, like, a Gonzo, and look, there's a Nico in the background as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're the little shrimp who thinks he's a target-shooting hotshot, yeah? And, and you think they know him full well that we're pirates who are so frightening that crying babies shut their mouths when we step into the room, boss? Because I believe you got something which belongs to my boss, and it's just a plunger, not a gun. Ah, this should be funny. Fine then, hotshot. If you can manage to think of five pirate ships that set off on the horizon, we'll acknowledge your skills with a cannon, you shrimpy little landlubber. However, we won't tolerate any comments about how the pirate ships look like barrels. And when you get ten shots, you hide me. Then you can move your cannon with this and fire with that. What the water plumes carefully when you fire, yeah? You got it, shrimp? Um, I got it. If you manage to sink off five pirate ships, we'll give you the treasure we're stolen now. Okay, this isn't that hard. Oh my god, why is it foggy? I can't see, and there's a sheen from, like, the window. Okay, this can take a bit of time to master, but once you get it, it kind of... It isn't too bad. Okay, that was... Oh man, that nearly got it. Yes! Okay, now this one... There are always some that are like the exact same distance away, so this one shouldn't be too much further away. Let's try. I don't think it is anyway, let's just try it. Yes, okay, now this one looks like it's the same distance. See, I told you, it's not that bad. It seems really scary, but if you just think about it logically and have good depth perception, which I don't, then it's actually not that bad at all. Okay, we have, like, loads of spare shots, so... What what you're supposed to do is just watch where the cannonball lands. Oh, wait, okay, we're doing very well. Watch where the cannonball lands, and if it lands, like... Okay, if it lands directly on the barrel, then you're fine. Psh, psha! Wow, nice shooting. 
but we won't hand over a priceless treasure so easy, yeah? Miss, hey, miss! <laughs> Look at him! I just think this is so funny. Gonzo, you're at least- I'm going to do, like, a, like the kind of voice that a boy would do to mimic a girl just for the laugh. Gonzo, you're the least honorary member of my family, are you not? So act like it! Don't lose your head! You're such- What was that noise? It was like a cat. You're a talented little kid. I like you. You're a funny little boy. How do you know so much? As we promised, here's our treasure. It's yours, so take it! Okay, Princess Peach. Excuse me, Princess, but we've got a piece of heart. Alright, nice job and all that. You can leave via the ladder behind you. Climb down in an orderly manner if you please. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to save. And it doesn't matter that I save because I've like copied my save file, so I won't have to play all the way up through again if I if something bad happens. Yes, continue playing. Because if I like lose too many rupees, I'm going to just like soft reset, just like I sang about in the game. Uh it's fifty rupees per game. Wanna try? You bet. Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Okay, this time it's going to be harder, because as you can see, there's one, like, really far away. But there's always going to be, like, some that you hardly need to move the cannon at all to get, so... See, even that was too far away, so let's try 16. I don't know why. Okay, okay, this is starting to go well. I wonder if you can hit the fish, that'd be kind of funny. Okay, now the next one is just a bit further away, so let's, like, change the trajectory a bit and see how this goes. Okay, that was still a bit... Yeah, as I said, there's one that you won't have to change the trajectory usually. Okay, now let's go for this one. Okay, this one is quite far away, so let's... Let's try this. Like, and with these ones that are far away, it can be hard to see, like... Okay, that didn't land there, so let's go up to 40. Okay, I hope I get it this time. Okay. I might have to play this again. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, come on. Gotta get this. Okay, did that land? Yes! Oh my god, I got it! Okay, this is going well. Okay, so that costs 50 rupees to play, but as I showed you, like, it's actually easier than the Squid Game. Miss, miss! Oh, here's the princess. What do you want? Don't you know how to keep quiet, you scurvy dog? Mario! Oh, I was just wondering who it was out here, and look at this, you again! Look at you and that adorably cute face of yours! That is so not Tetra. Tetra would never say something retarded like that, and that's why it's so funny. I can't help but give away your treasure to you! It's yours, so take it! And you got a treasure chart! Open your seat chart, and then press Y to check your charts. When you open this chart, a place where treasure lies will be lit up. Sail to that area and then use that chart to find a treasure. Okay, we spent like 10 minutes playing this game, so alright, nice job and all that. You can climb the ladder behind you. Keep down in an orderly manner, if you please. Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Uh, Squidward! Okay, I'm going to stop doing that now. Okay, what? Okay. Um... Okay, I'm going to meet you, like... Okay, I'll show you where I'm going to meet you. Do you remember this island? This is Windfall Island, and this is Dragon Rose Island. Remember on our way to Dragon Rose Island, we stopped at Paw Print Island? Well, there's actually something else we can get there now that we have bombs, so I'm going to meet you there, okay? Paw Print Isle! Okay, here we are, Paw Print Isle. And this is like, I don't know, this island is always pretty weird to me. First of all, it's weird because of all the choo-choos that are there. No, I'm talking about the sound when you make when you kiss someone. More, more. I'm talking about choo-choos. Those are slimy monster-like puddles of goo that turn into blobs of jelly. Stand up and start warming around like crazy when you go near them. <laughs> well, in that case, there's lots of them on that island over there. So if you see any, I'd avoid them. They can get nasty. Well, now that I think about it, every once in a while I see a potion brewer. Oh my god, yeah, we don't want to listen to this. Go away. Um, because, like, there's actually a load of stuff to do on this island, and you wouldn't think there is. Like, we've been there once already and gotten a piece of heart. I don't... I, I, we can get something else there now, and I actually... I'm not quite sure what it is, but there is something else we can get there now that we have bombs. Um, so we're going to get that now, and like later on, there's like you can use you, you when you get like more equipment, you can come back here and get a treasure chest that has 200 rupees in it, which is very very useful. But it's so weird that like this island would have so much stuff there to do. 
So without further ado, let's go down the hole. And hope that we can fit one. Well, we certainly can fit this in. Okay, so... We want to get out our bombs? Of which we have 40 out of 60 because we, like, just, like, fecked about 20 of them at Jabin's slab. Return to slab! And, um, like, as you can see, there are loads of, like, bombable rocks. I love that word, bombable rocks. Like, unless did, unless Zelda existed, there, there would be no such word as bombable rocks. What's in here? Probably a joy pendant. Yes, it's a joy pendant. Okay. Like, if all... If, like... When in doubt, it's a joy pendant. If you don't know what it is, it's going to be a joy pendant. And all these guys will, like, drop from the ceiling. And, but you can just ignore them. It's... I don't know. It's kind of crazy. Okay, now there's another exit with a bombable... Okay, there's another bombable rock. I just love saying bombable rock because it's, like, it's something that has become so commonplace to say. And if it weren't for Zelda games, then there'd be no such thing as bombable rocks because no one would know what they are. Okay, what's in here? Okay, 50 rupees. Um, so yeah, there's like, I don't know, there are just loads of things in here, which is really weird, I don't know. It seems strange to me that they would have this strange island here with so many, so many things to get, just in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. Maybe it's not weird. Maybe it's not weird at all. Maybe we should continue our mission. What mission? What are you talking about? I've had just about enough of you. Fine, go that way, but you'll be malfunctioning within a day, you nearsighted scrap pile. But, um, okay, that's enough 3PO quotes. I've talked about C-3PO so much in my LPs just because I like C-3PO that much. Okay, in our next part, it's not going to be night because I'll change... Well, no, in the next part, we're going to, like, go here to this island that everyone loves and we're going to get something there. Um, so we're just going to continue going east. So I'll see you next time there on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker with me, Rock Paper Mario. Thank you very much for watching.